YouTube, how you're going? I uh, just want to do another update on the gold and silver price. For those of you who've watched my first video, which I'll link to below, uh, you'll remember this chart. This is a chart on the price of gold in US dollars from the 25th of August. Now, when I posted my original video, I thought that you know, gold parabolic move followed by this sharp pullback and the associated um, margin hikes by the CME were very similar to what happened in silver. So I did a comparison and um, <clears throat> kind of thought that, you know, gold was going to follow what silver had done. So have this parabolic move, a sharp pullback, followed by a period of consolidation um, before obviously moving higher. Now, at the time, I also posted my or talked about my thoughts and said that, you know, if gold was to re-enter this initial um, channel, that it would be, you know, quite a positive thing in my view, because it's a more sustainable um, run up. Whenever anything goes parabolic, um, you know, obviously it can get ahead of itself. And from a for a longer term perspective, you know, I thought, you know, if gold could re-enter this channel, uh, it'd just continue on its merry way for some time. <clears throat> now, what I'll, I'm just going to show you now is the current silver um, chart, because it shows what, you know, I thought you know, could be a long term, or not a long term, but you know, over the next couple of months, I thought would, you know, I hope this would play out with gold as well. Uh, and you can see that after silver had consolidated for some time, it did start taking off again. And recently, it has basically started respecting these um, trend lines again. So you can see it bounced, you know, off the trend line here and here, and even respected it at the upper end as well. So <clears throat> I guess from a long-term point of view, I was really hoping that gold would pull back, consolidate, and start respecting these uh, trend lines again. I also posted that perhaps gold was going to form a new um, uptrend, either at a steeper angle or off this you know, upper band of the channel, which would obviously be positive as well. So what we'll do, we'll just skip forward to today's uh, gold chart. And you can see that there is, uh, I guess, the initial um, evidence of a new uptrend being formed. And you can see that it's obviously at a much steeper angle than this original channel um, that ran for quite some time. Now, that those two down days were followed by a sharp reversal, uh, which obviously is another bullish indicator. You know, it got sold down almost to 1700 before closing well above uh, 1750 an ounce. And since then, it has, uh, you know, continued higher for, you know, a couple of sessions. However, uh, what we saw yesterday was a rejection of this price above 1900. Um, it, it did go higher, as you can see, there's a little bit of a wick up. Um, it did go higher than it did back here. However, it did close sharply lower. So uh, my thoughts are, I guess, one of two things. Uh, firstly, that this double top, or what could be a double top, means that we're going to see a sharper pullback in the price of gold, kind of in keeping with my, I guess, initial thoughts in my first video, and that you know, we are going to consolidate at some point, whether that's in this initial channel down here or maybe at a higher level between 1850 and 1750, which it kind of has respected quite well, you know, for these couple of sessions. Uh, I guess that remains to be seen, but that's, you know, scenario one consolidation. Uh, scenario two is really that this is just a, a short term move and that it's not, it doesn't represent a double top and that we're going to pull back to this um, new trend line here and just continue on our merry way, um, obviously at a steeper angle uh, than what we saw originally. Now, um, the other thing to really kind of, I just want to touch on is that the, the importance, I guess, of time, because if gold does consolidate for a number of months, it could theoretically re-enter um, this channel just by default. And, you know, what I mean is that these these uh, trend lines, uh, sorry, they, they just continue to extend at the original angle. Uh, so if, a price, if the price of gold was to, say, stay stable at uh, $1,800 an ounce, eventually this channel will catch up. 
Um, so that's another thing that I, I guess could play out over a longer period of time. Um, but for that to happen, gold would really need to, um, you know, hover hover at the same same price for a number of months. Anyway, they're my thoughts. So uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, um, and let me know your feedback. I'll uh, link to the original video uh, below and uh, also provide a link to my blog. Um, for those of you who don't know, I invest in small and micro cap stocks on the Australian stock market. Um, and originally posted the first gold video because I was looking at getting into a into a gold stock and was obviously keeping a close eye on what was happening uh, with the price of gold. So anyway, uh, look forward to posting another video shortly. Thanks a lot.